Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Perfume Guru. Tonight I'm talking about a very popular fragrance. It's a flanker to the world's highest selling fragrance, Aqua Dijo from the house of Giorgio Armani. It's the Profumo edition of Aqua Dijo, which comes from the house of Giorgio Armani. It's, it's a fashion house and once in a while they come out with fragrances like these. This is one fra fragrance which I keep in my rotation regularly because this is one fragrance which has decent longevity and uh, it has a very soft kind of um, aura. It's not too penetrative, it's not uh, something too sharp or uh, abrasive, you know, the kind of stuff that you regularly, regularly get from the use of cheap aroma molecules. It's the sharpness of the plasticky bergamot or there's a, there's a hell lot of ambroxan in the dry down or this sharp patchouli which, is, um, which can drive you nuts. The synthetic type, I mean the plasticky type, it can be synthetic but it can be fantastic smelling at the same time but people, I don't know why they run away from using those formula. Probably it increases the cost of production. Anyway, coming back to the notes of this fragrance, uh, this fragrance is described as an aquatic, aromatic, woody and spicy composition. It opens with fresh aquatic accord and bergamot. Its heart captures aromatic tones of geranium, sage and rosemary laid on the base of patchouli and incense. It comes in different sizes like 40 ml, 75 ml and 125 ml. Mine is um, 75 ml, yes. So guys, how is this fragrance like? If you've tried the original Aqua Dijo, you would know or you would understand the basic structure of this fragrance. It's fresh. It's got uh, the sweetness of the ocean breeze. It's got slight saltiness at the top along with the bergamot. I would say for the price and uh, for the kind of uh, segment that this fragrance fits into, it's quite a surprise at the top. It's good quality. It's very, very decent quality. It's got a proper development phase. It's got some dynamism going on here. The dry down of it is fantastic with the touch of the oriental patchouli, which is of a good quality. It will not give you the dank, uh, the uh, incensey, woody or the complex lift of a natural patchouli of course but it's a clean patchouli at the same time it also maintains the earthy incensiness of course with the addition of the sage and uh, the rosemary it, it's got a slight peppery or spicy kind of touch which is a great touch and everything has uh, been done with, um, um, with a sense uh, of uh, balance Everything is very well balanced, nothing is screeching uh, and nothing is, uh, you know, coming out like an anomaly. Everything is very well fit together. That's what makes Aqua Dijo Profumo so interesting. Even though I love niche fragrances, I love uh, the complex natural scents, this fragrance never, never disappoints me. Lovely. The opening is still lovely. I mean, my bottle is about... Three, two or three years old, I'm not really sure, but it is an old bottle. It's not like a fresh bottle, yet the fragrance is still intact. And the bottle, the color and, uh, you know, the black color, it, it kind of represents the dark mood of this fragrance, even though it's a fresh, uplifting fragrance at the top. The dry down of it uh, is more mature. It offers more, so there's this lovely shift which I appreciate in this fragrance, apart from the oceanic breeze, the sweet bergamot at the top, the spiciness and the woodiness and the incensiness of the patchouli in the dry down is fantastic. The fragrance lasts on your skin for 6 to 8 hours easily, even in a hot climate. It's almost like a Creed fragrance. I would definitely rate it very, very high for what it is. This definitely deserves an 8.5 out of 10 in my humble books. It's not a masterpiece. It's not something um, that niche fragrance connoisseurs will really uh, dream about. Similar kind of fragrances from the house of Bulgari or Davidoff, they are not at all, you know, uh, interesting to my nose. They kind of feel the same. Whatever it is, the Amara or the Atlantic, whatever it is, they just feel so mundane and. Uh, so heavily abused, you do not want to wear those fragrances at all. But this one is a very, very versatile kind of fragrance. Young men can wear it, mature men can wear it. 
it's beautiful every time that i wear this fragrance i get a lot of compliments i get a lot of notice which is also a unique thing with a designer fragrance of this cost so if that's something that you look forward to you'll be amazed by the by the attention that you get don't be shy of wearing this fragrance at all and yes that's my review of morias's aqua di jo profumo i think he's done a fantastic work on this one and if he continues to offer fragrances like these i'll be the first person to come on my channel and praise it uh, because we need more of these creations in our designer segment because most of the present niche market is uh, flooded with these new companies which have mushroomed over the last one or two years with the niche perfumery and this concept becoming so popular it's almost become like a commercial niche market it's become a niche fish market and uh, that has also helped me to go back to let's say level 1 of perfumery and explore whatever is there uh, available in the more affordable segment um, uh, with uh, with good perfumers works of good perfumers they are still affordable the house of gala is still offering beautiful perfumes at a good price so i think it's worth checking out guys and uh, please share uh, your honest opinions and uh, uh, whatever your criticism criticisms of this fragrance i would love to hear your thoughts uh, down in the comment section below so see you guys until then take care bye bye